Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the 25 Days of Linux. Today we are taking a look at URXVT. Now I know what you're thinking. What's wrong with Alacrity? What's wrong with Kitty? What's wrong with ST? Absolutely nothing. Those are all perfect terminals and I love them all. But there are other terminals out there. They aren't as flashy maybe. They aren't GPU accelerated. They don't run the tree command in half the time or whatever, but they're all great terminals. Uh, particularly the reason that I'm interested in URXVT. There's a whole bunch of apps out there that are all sort of built to be better versions of Xterm. The cool thing about URXVT is it's one of many terminals that basically all use X resources as their configuration, or at least their main configuration. You might go in and do some additional configuration, but for the most part, they're pulling configs from a .x resources file on your system. This is really cool. There's a lot of apps that you can customize just with one file. And the fact that they all pull from one config file is very interesting to me. And if there were ever a perfect time to look at a terminal, maybe this is it right here. So first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and just install the bad boy sudo pacman s u r x v t. Oh, <gasps> Oh, I, I do have the arch wiki pulled up because I know I'm dumb and I'll need a guide here, but sudo pacman s r x v t unicode. So let's go ahead and try to run u r x v t and just see what it looks like by default. It's pretty disgusting, honestly, but that's because we need to configure it a little bit. So let's go ahead and hop out of that bad boy and uh, we'll spend a little bit more time in alacrity. Uh, actually, if you do go over to the arch wiki, I've got it open over here. This is probably one of the better places to go to figure out how to config different things in terms of X resources, certainly, but also just in general, arch wiki is a really, really great resource. If you have a question and you can't get an answer anywhere else online, arch wiki is a really, really great place to go. I think most people know that, but we're gonna go ahead Ahead and try to make some changes here. So in order to make config changes, what we need to do is we need to create an X resources file. I actually do not have one on uh, my system, oddly enough. So we're gonna go ahead and create one. So I'm gonna go into just my home directory, touch.x resources. And then once we have that X resources file, what we can do is go ahead and just hop in there and uh, let's try to make some changes. So the first thing we wanna do is probably fix the font issue. So let's see here. It looks like maybe what we need to do is star dot font equals XFT. And then we're gonna just set it to mono space for right now. I think that should probably work. And we'll do style equals regular colon size equals, let's do 30. And then if we go ahead and open up URXVT, uh, nothing will have changed. And that's because every time you make changes through the extra sources file, you have to actually apply them. So in order to do that, you just need to come outside the command line out to a shell and run XRDB on dot X resources. And then if we go ahead and try to launch your XVT again, you can see, hey, look at that. We have a nice big old font. So next thing we probably want to do is uh, actually pick a custom font. So let's go ahead and we'll use a command on the command line. We can use, uh, I think it's called FC dash list. And we'll just pipe that through grep and search for maybe hack nerd font. That's the font I usually use. Try to drop that right in there. Hack dash regular dash nerd font dash complete. We'll come over here, go into the config or into the X resources. And let's see, we'll change word, paste that in. Oh, no, nope, pasting isn't gonna work here right now. Hack, regular, nerd, font, complete. Go ahead and run XRDB on .x resources. And we will close and reopen. And it is broken again. Nice. Okay, I might've done that FC list command wrong. Let's see, maybe we just need to paste in this part after the actual location of the font. Maybe that's what we were doing wrong. Paste that in, hack nerd font style equals regular. Reload XRDB on .x resources. Close your XVT, open that bad boy back up. And there we go, now we have a actual font. Let's get a color scheme going on here because this is gonna get real old real fast if this is what I'm looking at. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that, but really what you need to do is just go into the X resources and specify some colors. So the first thing I could do is let's do like, maybe I'll make a comment here and I'll say colors. Right off the bat, we're gonna want a foreground color and uh, we can use hexadecimal here. So I'm just gonna set that to, let's see, zero, zero, Woo, hold up zero 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 and then or no zero 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 and that's not what i want let's do like ff -F 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 for the foreground and then we'll uh just copy that change that to background and uh set that to black 
and we would basically flip the colors xrdb dot x resources quit load in your xvt again and there we go now we're getting somewhere more like where i want to be now from there your xvt or x resources in general uses uh, sort of standard colors you've got uh, what is it i think 15 or 16 colors on the terminal zero and eight are black colors one and nine are red green is two and ten you know that kind of thing there are a lot of configs that work that way so if i were to like go into my config for kitty uh, I'm pretty sure I should be able to just maybe copy over their uh, colors. I've already defined all of these colors here and these are just the Grovebox color scheme. So what I could probably do is just copy that over and go back into the X resources file. And let's see here, we're gonna want to fix all the indention real quick. And then what I could do is uh, we can go into visual select mode, control V or visual block mode. And then if you hit capital I, what you can do is I'll just add like an asterisk and then dot hit escape applies it to everything. And then we just need to come in here, add a colon to the end of all of these. And then if we go ahead and exit XRDB dot X resources again, quit and reload your XVT here. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, if we hop back into that X resources, uh, we also can change the cursor color. It looks like pretty easily do the same thing like star dot cursor color is the name that you want there. You can put in whatever. Uh, so maybe I would make this like DC 3232. This is pretty, that should be a pretty obvious red. Uh, maybe just for the video, we can uh, really dial up the red. That way we can see the cursor and make sure that change has been made. XRDB on X resources, quit out of that. You are XVT again. All right, cool. One other thing we can do here is you can notice there's this bar on the side, kind of a scroll bar. I wanna get rid of that real quick. So let's come back in here. We'll go down here a little bit further. Maybe we'll do another comment and say settings or something. I don't know. And let's see here, let's do URXVT.scroll bar equals false urxvt scroll bar underscore right also equals false and then i guess we'll change that to urxvt settings and then it looks like to do transparency what we would want to do is there's two commands you need to do urxvt dot uh, or star sorry depth we'll just try to set that to like 30 or something and then we'll do urxvt dot background and we're gonna do, let's see, in square brackets, it looks like we're gonna do like, maybe we'll set it to 70, and then we put a hexadecimal after it. So I'll do 000, zero, 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 zero. and we'll go ahead and xrdb.x resources, open and close your XVT again. Okay, so that got rid of the scroll bar, but the transparency still isn't working for some reason. Oh shit, okay. Nope, uh, sorry, I was experimenting off screen. I figured out what the issue was. So if I go back into the X resources, it looks like literally these two commands just needed to be tabbed over two spaces for some reason. I think what's going on here is I'm gonna set this color to zero, 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 and we're setting the opacity like right here. So I'll try and set it to like uh, 70 maybe. And then go ahead and run XRDB on X resources again. Quit, open that back up. And hey, look at that, that is damn close to where we started. One thing I am curious about though now is what is this depth controlling? Uh, let me set that to 80 and just see what the heck happens. Oh no, okay, so the depth needs to be set to something else. Let's try maybe 30 instead of 32 and see what happens. Wow, okay. So does that just need to be set at 32? Is that what the issue is? XRDB.X sources your XVT. Yeah, apparently so. So I'm not 100% sure what that control is doing, but set it to 32. And maybe the issue wasn't the uh, indent in there. Maybe I just, uh, that was a wrong move there. Uh, your XVT again. Okay, yeah, so the indention doesn't matter. My bad there. Uh, another thing we could do is set a border here just so that, uh, you know, it doesn't clash so hard with the actual edges of the terminal. So let's go back into the extra sources. And let's see here, we're gonna wanna do urxvt star, and the control here is internal border. And let's just try and set that to 25, maybe see what happens here. Okay, that uh, changed absolutely nothing. Oh, you know what? I might have formatted it slightly wrong. That might be the issue. And yep, okay, that was definitely it. Now we have padding. All right, so it's just the uh, formatting there is very, very specific. Um, so we'll just go ahead and set that to 50. That'll look better. 
Okay, yeah. So that's already sort of getting to a point where I'm okay with the actual appearance. You know, if we come over here, open up URXVT, Alacrity, Kitty. I don't have ST installed right now, but I've done this demonstration before. Basically all of my terminals look identical. And as long as I can't tell the difference, I'm happy with it. And we're already there with URXVT. But the, the weird thing about URXVT is you'll notice there's some really basic things that are just missing. For example, I'll copy this. And if I try to paste into URXVT, oh, hold up, nope, nothing. We get a whole bunch of errors. For whatever reason, copy and paste, URL clicking, all that kind of stuff is turned off by default in URXVT. So what I'm doing here is I'm literally just on the Arch Wiki. I'll make sure I link it below so you can copy if you want. And I'm just gonna copy in stuff to fix that. Right down here in our URXVT settings, Let's see, copy this in. We want to set ISO 14755 to false, which is what that little error message thing was that it was just giving us. And then we literally just need to set key bindings, control V and control C in this case, which are going to be mapped to paste from the clipboard and put the selection into the clipboard. We'll go ahead and run xrdb.x for sources, close and open this bad boy again. And now if we want to, let's see, grab a selection, control C and control V. Boom, we are pasting in. I still screwed it up, but that was my own fault. We're pasting in and we're all good to go. We can continue to go through a lot of stuff here. I think that we're pretty close to where to something I'm happy with here. One thing I will mention before I leave is uh, you'll notice I set up the colors here and the font here. And that's because basically every terminal or every program that uses extra sources should be able to pull the same fonts and the colors, but there are actually some specific settings to URXVT that we're setting as well. So I say all those terminals use this one config file, and that is true. They do all like pull the colors. So in theory, if I were to, well, here, we'll just test it. Let's uh, go ahead and do pa sudo pacman dash s and install xterm. Okay, yeah, so when we launch Xterm, you can see it actually does use the exact same color scheme that we just set up, but it doesn't have padding, it doesn't have transparency. So what you would have to do is go in and set settings specific to that terminal. So this is cool. It isn't quite as uh, seamless and cool of a system as I thought it was. I thought like you would just do one config and four or five different terminals would all be picking up on it, but it's, it's still cool. And this is a nice little terminal. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it around, but that's probably gonna be it for this one. Thank you everybody for watching and uh, check back here tomorrow and we'll have another video for you. Thank you.